All right, we are back with some more F-Zero. I was actually having a lot of fun with this when we played it on stream the other day, and I've been playing it off stream as well. Because again, it's just so easy to pick up and play and everything. I mean, plus the nostalgia. Um, the races are fairly short, the music and the graphics are cool. I mean, like, again, it is like a really nice modern update to the original with the new spin on it. I haven't been playing with any other vehicles. Well, no, I've played with one other vehicle and I felt like I was not doing well with that. Oh, now the Grand Prix is open. Oh, dear. Ooh, oh, new tracks. Okay. Mute City 2, Port Town 1, Red Canyon 2, and a secret one? I do like that they seem to be continually adding stuff to it, which makes sense, because the original F-Zero had so many tracks to offer. Ooh. I'm kind of tempted to, to see how I would do in the Queen race, but I feel like Queen is definitely a lot harder, and I did not do well in my first Grand Prix, but you know what? Tickets aren't for using for anything else, so... Let's do it. Grand Prix Series, five consecutive races, score points, you can land on the weekly leaderboard. Alright. And I did go back to the rubber ducky, the rubber ducky look here. Only the top 20 make the final, gum. I feel like I have improved though, in terms of skill, because I've been getting better at using, uh, boosts and things like that. Hey, Mike, how are you? It was just, just all about getting better. Doing well and tired. How's the game? It's been going. We just swapped over. Wow. We just swapped over to uh, F Zero. We just swapped over to F Zero from the uh, Flash game. Wow. Well, at least we'll get some new tracks depending on how long I last. Again, that noise is going to throw me off. And yes, I did get to, I think it was B minus rank. Still learning some tech here and there, too. Of course, you want to dodge the rough and always go for the boosters. Okay, so not as crazy, but there is that roundabout. Okay, that's the boost. Boost is important, even up in the skyway. Real people or CPU? Kind of a mix, I feel. Because there are a lot of real people that you're you're driving against, but I think they probably do supplement some CPUs here and there. Like if a race doesn't fill up all the way.
Yeah, no, it's a lot of fun. And it's free on uh, Nintendo Switch Online members right now, too. Yeah, not bad, not bad. I mean, especially good for Queen Race, but I feel like I've gotten better in terms of, like, gauging when to use boost, how to take turns, and things like that, so I'm pleased with it. Especially considering how high everybody's level is. Like, just me, I'm just a little level 8 surrounded by all these double digit rankers. Wow. Fort Town 2. Plus, I guess the good thing is, is that I'm getting these maps for uh, practice. these turns and the magnets Finished at least. Yeah, we didn't beat anybody though. That's fine. I'm happy that we're surviving this long, so can't complain. Ooh, boy, these are looking tough. I'm just glad we'll have them if we want to do practice. Still not sure what the uh, what the trick is for like boosts. Like the boost at the beginning of the race. Good. Yes.
take those. we've raced before and I forgot how it went. Risky biscuits. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> yep, saw that coming. Made it through three races. Excuse me. My goodness. Inked out, crash outs. Dang. All right. That was fun. It was at least good to try. We got some nice experience and the tracks unlocked in practice mode. Oh uh, yeah, you know, let's do a little bit of practice. Because I definitely feel like I could do a lot better in these. It's like Mute City and Deathwind, those are the ones that people always tend to pick in 99. It's like you gotta you gotta get better. Especially on Port Town here, my gosh. Alright, so we'll just go down the line. Wait. When did I unlock this? Hmm. Hmm. Alright. And of course, practice, like, isn't the same as racing with folks, because, you know, like, bebopping be bopping all over the place. See, I still puttered out there. And that's the problem. Like, I haven't learned what the tech is to get a good boost off of the, the starting line. Especially like this ear pin turn. This looks so good. I love how like distinct in the background it is, like with the city and all that. Very cool. Oh, I don't miss that.
Hmm. You just gotta get better at these. It's the only way I'll rank up and do better in these races. Still a couple of secret tracks locked away. Or at least ones that are coming soon. These are ones I just haven't seen, like White Land 2. Yeah, let's just try practicing all of these. I think there's actually some achievements or trophies I can get for. Okay, so it's like I can hold down B. I can hold down B. And uh, if I let off just as it says go, then I shouldn't putter out. I'm just kind of vibing to this. I know I'm not saying a whole lot, but it's just, it's hard not to get caught up in the music, you know? Oh wow, 150 straight, okay. Yeah, this is what I was looking at, because I remember looking at the trophies and they said, oh, if you do X amount of time in practice modes on certain things, you'll get, like, you know, unlock unlockables. That's cool. Did that. This is also another good way to get better at uh, the different machines and such, and the different tracks. How are you? How's it going? It's going all right. Oh, I hit the wrong thing. This is exactly what I'm thinking about is that I need practice in. Yeah, just started. I actually competed in a the Grand Prix, the Queen's Race. Got up to the fourth one and then ranked out at 35. But hey, we unlocked new stuff and actually did a lot better than I anticipated to, because I'm getting better at the game and I'm happy with that. Learning where it's good to boost, how to use it, trying to learn how to take turns as best I can. Yeah, if we can finish a Grand Prix sometime, I will be pleased. Heck, if I can actually get... whoops. I can actually get a uh, first place finish on one of these races, like even just a regular F-099 race would be great. I've gotten close though, like I've been on first place's tail and then just soundly get left behind, but we get there. How are you?
Like, I need, like, an F-Zero pro or somebody that knows this game better than me to, like, give me some tips. Because I'm still learning, like, again, how to take really tight turns. Because my solution is just to, like, let off the accelerator in order to turn better. And then there's, a uh, not puttering out at the finish line. Dumo. D and D tonight, work tomorrow, but Sunday is off this week. Nice! I do hope you have fun. So many curvy curves through here. Wasn't, that wasn't amazing. Uh, you could probably do better at Deathwind. Oh, that's my ghost. Okay. That's actually kind of cool. Oops. I did better that time, so that's good. Yeah, we've been kicking some butt. Much about F09 and I have fun with it. Great for like 20 or 30 minutes to kill time, and it's glad it's free. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like it was a good, a good little drop on their, on their account. Okay, we've had times in these. Let me go back and look at the trophies. Yes, we unlocked these for participating in the Queen. Participate in night. Participation. I'm glad they give a lot of participation stuff rather than like get so many wins and such. Finish Big Blue with faster than 204. Sand Ocean than 220. Deathwind then, uh, 150. That's what I was thinking. Silence. Ooh, that's one we haven't seen yet. Okay. Mm. I could probably pull off Big Blue. Maybe. Maybe. 
let's see. Oof. That's a lot of races. Finish, okay. Got it. Alright, uh... Yeah, you know? It's free? Yes, it's free, Mike! If you have Nintendo Switch Online membership service, it's free! Like, you just have to go on the eShop and download it. I mean, like, technically you have to have the membership, but being able to play online and all the other services and such, it's kind of worth. I still haven't upgraded to the, uh, the other stuff. The expansion. It would be nice if I had, like, like a big group of people. I'm sure there's people out there I could find, but, like, a big group of people to, like, cut the cost down to, like, $10 a person or something. Who knows? You don't have a Switch? That's fair. That's fair. Ooh. Interesting. You see how close I am to first? Like, dang. And then all of a sudden, everybody just comes up from behind and just like, BAM! Oh, gosh. Well, you see that. Again, racing on the track is a lot different than racing in a race. Could have been better. Yeah, the Nintendo Switch Online account. And I think it's like 20, 20 something dollars, US dollars, for a year. Which I know when I got uh, Animal Crossing, that was like the first year that I signed up for it. Because, of course, like 
people wanting to come over and visit, wanting to do fun stuff, so... So it's not a bad expense. Going over these magnet rails is where it's at. Getting better with every race. Keep learning. I have to smile at the color of the wild goose I've got going on. Cause like again, it kind of reminds me of a rubber duck, and then from other angles, it kind of looks like a little inner tube. I feel like the drifting when I'm holding down the shoulder buttons is probably helping. Ooh boy. I'm in trouble.
Ooh, boy. Alright. Well, we finished the mini brie at least, so... And we smoked at least one rival. Why second place Laffy is so sparkly and I'm guessing that's a gold skin. You know what? Sure. It gives us an opportunity to get another track in practice mode. I'm all for it. Question for the chat. If we were going to do... It's likely going to be in the evening. Ooh. It's likely going to be in the evening. But uh, what times... Or like time frame would be good for a uh, community appreciation jackbox tomorrow? Like it would probably be like... I don't know, like after 6 o'clock or something like that probably. And go for a few hours. Hey, no speaky. The very good NASCAR. I'm trying. It's a lot of fun, though. Hope you are well. Oh gosh. Feels like this wind is even stronger. Curves are nuts. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to be safe for long. Good. Yes, these 90 degree turns. in the arrows too. That's my problem. I know there also is an achievement for finishing a race in the last final safe place, so there is that. Oy. Hey, we're getting close to the next rank. technically did finish in the last, the last place, the last safe place, because everybody else crashed out, understandably, but my gosh. 
<laughs> I mean, look at this. I'm literally the last safe person. Shishums. I mean, I'll take it. Level 10. Alright, it does look like an ad is about to start. I think I've got my ads back on track now. I had to turn off the auto ad player or whatever. So we are going to go ahead and take a quick break. I suggest you all do the same. Stand up, stretch, go to the bathroom. Snacks and beverages and all that. We will run the ads while we do that. We only try to run only three minutes fast per hour to turn off free rolls and it benefits the stream. If you want to miss the ads, you can always do Twitch sub, Prime Gaming, Twitch Turbo, you name it. And of course, any, any sub points do contribute to the Make Me Play Clock Tower incentive. Since this is the last week of September, where all subs and gift subs are at a discount. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and take a break and we will be back. Thank you, everyone, for your patience. 
I guess let's see if maybe we can unlock some more pro tracks. Again, I'm just glad that I'm finishing these races and not crashing out. I mean, part of it probably comes from me not spamming the boost button and everything, but if I can finish, I'm glad. I would love to win a race one day, but just finishing is a good thing. I know, uh, Zeluk. Ah, uh, people are probably gonna vote Deathwind. I'll go Whiteland. I know, uh, Zeluk said, hey, if you see someone named Zeluk on the, the racer thing, keep an eye out, because that's me. One of our, uh, community members. I think that was a top 10 finish. Wait. Yeah, it's probably my first top 10 finish. And we went up a rank. Let's go. Feels good, yo. gonna keep doing these special races because shoot earn more points unlock more more stuff
Ah, poo, I missed the... missed the boost. Good stuff, good stuff. Hey, what are your plans for this weekend, chat? I'm wondering if we might go visit the uh, farmer's market tomorrow morning. I should try to get a walk in too if the weather's nice. I've really found that walking at least three days a week has been really nice. Ooh, boy. Ooh. 
Close to ranking out. Huge. That's fine. Yeah, port down one is just tough. And again, sorry, I'm... I'm always concentrating on these races. I, again, I get a little bit of a competitive streak. Like, not like... Crazy, but, you know, just... A desire to do better. Wee. Be careful with my boost. Oh, 49 of 49. I'm okay. <laughs> oh, wait, it's 45 is safe. Oh, no. Oops. expect to do well in that race but they never tell you like what the uh the courses are but still it's mostly for the experience because either way i still get like leaderboard points and that leads up to uh like more unlockables and stuff so it's okay <sighs> but now we're just having fun with it We are just having fun. Yeah. 
keep missing the boost. Boost is how you place better. And I'm getting used to doing the the tilts because I feel like that's helping. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Especially when it comes to like those really, really like tight turns and things. Let's do team battle. Team battles are fun. Gotta go Deathwind. Those turns like crazy, they really are, and that's not the worst of them either. To say the least. Oh, Mute City 1? Rip. That's fine. Not for long, but I, I got, got first for one. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, man. Mark it down, chat. Bulls I got was in first place for about 10 seconds in the race. to team race. I'm just glad I was at least in first place for like all of 10 seconds, so can't complain. Ooh, wow, that 
was close. That was so close. Oh wow, ranked fourth out of my team. That's pretty dang good. Yeah, that's why team races are fun. Because you get points, you get experience. I mean, while you're still racing and all that, I feel like there's a little less pressure. Uh, Deathwind. Always Deathwind. Unless it's death win, win two, then forget that. Top 25. Ooh, dang, another close victory. your race with an empty power meter <laughs> what <laughs> i mean i guess that was close <laughs> oh that's funny i mean it's a thing it is definitely a thing well, let's just go back to a regular regular race Uh, 
Big Blue. <laughs> Looks like a number of my rivals have also finished with an empty power meter. is all the way out there. Good night. Just checking Discord. <laughs> oh, I remember them saying that, but I didn't understand exactly what it meant because it's hard to. I don't know, for me it's kind of hard to pay attention to anything that just like eyes directly on the road. Is anybody else like that? Either IRL or in racing games? I feel like trying to look like all over the place, you're just kind of like, oh. You look away and you just start to mess up.
Uh, IRL driving, Mike. I guess even IRL versus uh, how you are in regular racing games. I did not pay attention to my meter. Oops. <laughs> Lucky bumper. Okay, this is fun. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, I guess the race already ended. Dang. Well, that's the first time I've actually crashed out and gotten to do that. That's cute. <laughs> hey, oops. You're like, are you a speed demon? Are you a speed demon, Mike? I know back when I was younger, I was a little... I wasn't, like, fast. I would drive a little bit above the speed limit. But nowadays, I'm... I feel like more nowadays, I'm driving more and more like a grandma. I'm driving more and more like a grandma, where it's like, you know, most of the time, both hands on the wheel, driving above, at or below... Uh, at or below the speed limit, and such. I don't know, just like, all, like having all these cars around me paranoys me. Especially when it comes to like stoplights, because I'm paranoid that the light's gonna change and I'm gonna have to like slam on my brakes or something like that or crazy stuff. I've been fortunate. I've been blessed and fortunate enough to have never been in a wreck, thank goodness. But uh I don't know, just like I worry most about other people than I do my own driving, if that says anything. Most like five over yeah. Especially like with the flow of traffic. That's a big thing. Because, like, sometimes if you're going, like, the speed limit, especially on interstates or highways and stuff, it feels like you're going too slow. And you're going to have all these people, like, breathing down your neck if you're not going a certain amount over the speed limit. Always Deathwind, but I have a feeling Mute City might win. Yep. Hereby loves Mute City. Good driver alert, pre planning and preparing every possibility. Try to read traffic and predict actions of others. Yes! That's exactly what I do. It's like when I watch people, it's like they're gonna wanna merge or they're gonna wanna do X or whatever, and half the time they do. That's about exactly what I do, so I, I feel that. Oh, 
Oh, my bar did get bigger. Since I had knocked out somebody. Okay. Explosions here. It's a very important skill, especially when riding a motorcycle. Yes. Definitely. I have not drove, I have not ridden a motorcycle. I've been on one, like I've ridden passenger, but I have not driven one. Most of my experience with vehicles like that are ATVs when I was a youth. That was it. And even then, I was a little, maybe slightly reckless. At least not crazy. But, uh... Yeah, I, I'm a very defensive driver. Very cautious reading people's behaviors, and stuff like that. I'm surprised Sand Ocean got that many votes. that bar. Man, we were in third for five seconds. Like two. People just exploded in front of me. I don't know if people are like getting little bumpers because I did have the option to detonate when I got that little bumper in the last race that I blew up on or crashed out or whatever. Thank you. 
<laughs> oh wow, yeah, I KO'd two people. That's nuts. I mean, like, all I'm doing is just making sure I'm hitting the button to do my spin. City too. Whew. Just barely eked out a win. to bumper chaos. Hmm. Let me look at the workshop, see what other unlockables we've gotten, because I know we've gotten quite a few, actually. You spin attack a total of 500 times. keeps track of everything. Uh, 
Okay, so they're gonna add the King League in the future. Okay. Yeah, I've done so many races just because of the... due to the uh, wild goose here. I don't know, it's like it's so steady. Maybe I'll try a couple of races with the Blue Falcon, just to see how it runs. Because the Blue Falcon is cool, and it's iconic. Gotta go Big Blue. what it is like I don't know if it's from my posture or me walking so hard the other day but it's like I feel like I've got like like a muscle twinge or just something it's nothing bad it's just like it's annoying mild soreness below my knee Definitely not feeling as good with the Falcon, though I know it just takes time. Time and experience. <laughs> Bumper Destroyer. That's a... that's a title. That's a lot of people that like Red Canyon.
people are just so good. I mean, aside from constantly playing the game. I just feel like I'm going so slow. Typically, the Blue Falcon is supposed to be, like, one of the faster ones. I just don't do good on Red Canyon, I know this. Still constantly ranking up. Red Canyon again. Oh, goodness. Again, they really took these tracks and just made them look so good. Like, there's so much detail. Oops. It does look like I accidentally timed ads. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I guess even the race was saying, hey, you need to run ads. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that, haven't, that hasn't happened as often as it did, because the other day, when I was doing this offline, I was somehow disconnecting, like, I don't know, a handful of times. So, not having dropped frames, not dropping from the race, and having communication errors, that's pretty dang good. So... While there is an ad break coming up, we'll go ahead and let that roll. I encourage you all to stand up, stretch, go to the bathroom, and all that. You won't be missing anything since ads, since uh, we just got kicked out of a race. But uh, yeah, we will go ahead and run ads, and we will be right back. Get a beer. Man, I want a ginger ale. Mike making me want a soda over here. Dadgummit. I don't have any.
Alright. Thank you everyone for your patience. Made sure to refill my water and stuff. You gotta stay hydrated. You're side? No, you're not. You don't have reason to be. <laughs> There's plenty of time, uh, times I've made chat hungry talking about food and recipes and what I've been cooking, so it's fair game. You don't have to be sorry for something like that. <laughs> oh, man. Alright. Stretch it out a little bit more. Alright. Yeah, I guess we'll just keep doing keep doing 99. I want to keep getting better with the blue falcon. I want to unlock all these skins because look at how cute and neat these cars look. I like all their colors and their skins and stuff. Shoot. I blame you then. Revenge. <laughs> oh wow, by one vote. Seen a lot of people race with the uh, what is it, the fox? I can tell how ma however many cars there is in this hodgepodge. I mean, it seems like there's a good mix of the different cars that people are using of the four of them. But I'm kind of wondering, like, what's the main one people like to use? Though I guess it's a matter of your style. If you're cautious, if you're speedy, if you're aggressive. Whatever. You gotta be cautious with my boosts. Especially since it seems like the Blue Falcon here. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dang it. Yeah, the Blue Falcon doesn't have near as much power, so I was pushing it a little too hard. Whoops. Yeah, I'm gonna just go back to the wild goose. The wild goose is safe. What I'm comfortable with. City. Almost forgot to take off the Pokemon games tag on my stream since we were doing the flash game for that earlier.
Here we go. <clears throat> Tenth place finish, I'll take it. is open and we got another level hmm tempting I'm just gonna stick with F0 for now like I just want to keep like leveling up <laughs> dad that's cute there's somebody that has an, a, a switch account named dad that's adorable You just gotta get first, then we can move on to when we've slaughtered the competition. I know. Dang, a lot of people wanted Mute City. I got close. Well, not close to getting first, but I was at least in first for 10 seconds. Right, right, like right now, I'm in fast. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> it's something. Not bad. Smoked the rivals. Yeah, I want to say Mute City is probably the one I've most consistently gotten better at. Probably it's because the one that everybody always wants to play. Yeah, we've already done the Queen League. I'm just going to keep doing F-Zero races. Yeah, for, uh... 
community night jackbox tomorrow night. It's probably going to be sometime after 6. And we'll go for 2, 3, 4 hours, depending how we feel. Yeah, and I like to give an opportunity to show appreciation and give for fun and interaction with the chat. So Jackbox on a on the last weekend in September seems like a good idea. Plus it's been a while. I'm trying to remember was the last time we did Jackbox on my birthday back in March? terrible at these curves in sand ocean. Well we were in third place on this on this for two seconds. I'm gonna use my boost, but with all the action that's going on, I fear that I'd be close to a crash. It's important. Ooh, it's like, some ways I was doing okay, some ways I wasn't. It's a blue. Yeah. I like that. And it's like you just unlock more and more things by just doing. We'll go a little bit more. Again, that is a nice blue. I should have seen what that looked like with uh, the decals and stuff.
And so many people love Red Canyon. Why is that? Dude. I guess it's if you're good at it, then you can smoke the competition. Sega CD, what a name. are what I'm bad at in this game, to say the least. Good at Red Canyon, you could probably smoke a lot of the competition. Stop and look at what the cosmetics look like with this new color. Let me guess. Red Canyon 1's going to win. So, yep. I'm kind of wondering if Red Canyon 1 is... I forget if that's one of the new tracks they added this week. this map. Again, if I could get good at it, I would have a pretty big leg up on the competition. People seem to keep wanting to choose this map.
does seem like that would prevent you from uh, jumping out of the map like in uh, the original, which is kind of a nice. the three different vehicle types that handle different. There are four different vehicles. Um, there's the Blue Falcon, the Yellow Fox, the Wild Goose, and the Crimson Ray. And yes, they all handle differently. They all have different acceleration, grip, speed. So it's all a matter of preference. I can show those off here. Yeah, see here, durability, recovery, grip, and max speed, and then in terms of acceleration, like you have the, the wild goose, the fire stingray, that's what it is. They all kind of read about the same. I didn't realize the wild goose was the second fastest in terms of max speed, but it's a matter of getting that max speed. Okay, maybe that's why I see so many golden foxes. These, even though it has lowest max speed, its acceleration is nuts. And it has decent recover recovery. Durability, though, is kind of poop. Considering. Fire Stingray might be a good one to try out. Yeah, let's see. We got this color. Ooh, that's kind of nice. I like it with the little light blue on top. Kind of nice. It's neat, yep. You just try to, you know, kind of make it where you... I like that. Where, uh... You know, you race how you want to race. Plus it helps to have variety and all the machines look cool and stuff. Oh, I KO'd a rival. That's hilarious. Oops. Alright, can we get something other than Red Canyon? Please? This has to be a new track. That has to be it. This has to be a new track. Dang, Dad already ranked out. That's sad. I just cannot do curves. My gosh. Rip. Heck of a sky skip. The, ra the skyway is pretty neat. It is a neat little function because this wasn't in the OG. I, I can't speak for like the later 
the later F-Zeros, because my experience is only with the F-Zero on SNES. I thought it's a neat little function. Again, like, I feel, even though it's not a new F-Zero, it is, like, a really, I want to say a pretty polished, modern update to the original. Which, you know, is kind of where the nostalgia and all that is. Oh, man. This has been fun, but I think this is we are going to call it for today. Again, for some odd reason, just some of the muscles in my leg are just feeling a wee bit more sore and they're nagging at me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there for today and go rest. So thank you everyone so much for watching with you for chatted. I appreciate all of you being around for the games and the fun and everything. A reminder, we will be back tomorrow night with us in Jackbox Community Night as appreciation, um, where all of you can participate. We'll play all the games and everything, of course, so I do encourage you to join us for that. It'll likely be, like, again, after 6 p.m. Central my time or so, depending. So I do hope you will come by. We also still have, right there, um, our goal for making me play a clock tower. Again, it's Halloween version of Childhood Challenge, making me beat the game in one capacity or another, because that game scares the poop out of me. So yeah, if you want to add that to our Scary Games Halloween lineup uh, for October, you can always uh, sub, where you get ad-free viewing, emotes, a whole kit and caboodle, and get to put a fun game on the schedule and such. But anyway, since it is Friday, I do encourage you guys to always check out the Bob Ross streams. If you're looking for something fun and comfy and encouraging and just something to work to or sleep to or whatever, Bob Ross has got you. But uh, yeah, that is going to be it for me. So for now, I hope you all will have a lovely day or evening wherever you are in the world. And I hope I'll see you all again soon. Take care, everyone.